my name is yogendra kumar i am a maths teacher at ask iitians okay today we are going to do probability chapter which can which comes in your final exam for almost 4 marks right okay it is having weightage board weightage as 4 marks right so this is a really important chapter okay you can easily expect one long answer and one short answer question okay like that it could be there right so let's start it is pretty simple chapter right i hope you can score full in the final exam right so let's understand this you'll find it much easier okay so what what are the topics we are going to cover today we are going to see what is experimental versus uh, theoretical probability right what is the difference between the two then we are going to see definition of probability outcomes and sample space and what is an event right so let's get started so what is theoretical uh, probability okay if you say like uh, i like some prediction or some some like uh, something like uh, they want to forecast okay like that like weather department okay they want to forecast that tomorrow it might be rainy day right tomorrow it might be raining so they they see the previous record what happened previously previous years in this month in this year okay this day okay what happens previously right they forecast on the basis of that or like we have the data available on that basis we are telling this is what happening right so you can understand like with the example i think this will be clear that experimental is what like what happened and then on that basis we are defining like a coin is tossed 10 times head is recorded 7 times and tail is recorded three times right so what is the probability of getting head when we are throwing the coin right so it is 7 by 10 and what is the probability of tail it is 3 by 10 right simple so it is based on the experiment already happened already previous data we have and we are on that basis we are uh, calling it right we are uh, forecasting it right and what is theoretical according to mathematics what is going to happen right now right what is if i toss a coin okay either i am going to get head or tail right fair coin it is so that is what uh, 50% chances are there but so there are two things right theoretically this should happen experimentally based okay like this happened right so this is what it is exactly right okay this is what we need to understand this is what the basic difference between experimental probability and theoretical probability by the way definition of the probability is what number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of possible outcomes so like head is one only so one divided by two possible total outcomes are what okay head or tail if i write if i need to write down the sample space for a, a coin right so what is the sample space we will give for this sample space will be having head or tail right these are the two events now we want to we want to see head right so event is what getting head so that is having one element only so probability of e is what 1 divided by 2 means number of elements in the favorable outcomes divided by number of elements in this divided by total number of outcomes okay so that is 2 right this is what it is so you can see the definition also theoretical probability is what we expect to happen where experimental probability is what actually happens when we try it out right so this is what it is right actually what is happening and what happened what expected to happen so that is what the difference right slight different okay a difference okay that is what you need to observe as more trials are conducted the experimental probability generally gets closer to the theoretical probability right okay obviously when we perform because it it is expected this happened okay seven times uh, head came it's fine right but what is supposed to happen one by two should be it uh, ideally right what is the probability we say when i throw a coin what is the probability one by two it should be right 50% chances but it shows it is not 50% it is deviating from this uh, thing okay uh, theoretical thing right it's fine but when when you perform it more it is like more closer to that right so this is what we say so now this simple question a bag contains 10 red marbles eight blue marbles and two yellow marbles right you can see the pic in the picture find the experimental probability of getting a blue marble experimental probability of getting a blue marble so blue marbles are what okay here we don't have any previous data right so probability is what going to be how many blue marbles are there 
eight blue marbles. Okay, like here, it is not the exact number. You need to see the data here. Eight divided by what is what are the total? Twenty, right? So we can say four uh, twos are divided by four fives are two divided by five, right? We don't have any previous data or like that. Okay, what happened there? Okay, so theoretical is what here experimental. We need to give the same answer, right? Okay. Okay, now what is happening here? Okay, what are they providing? Okay, bag contains 10 red, eight blue, and two yellow marbles. Find the experimental probability of getting a blue marble. Yes, that's correct, eight by 20, right? Because total marbles are what? Total number of marbles. Marbles are what? We have 10 plus eight, plus two, which is what 20, right? And how many blue marbles are there? Eight, so eight by 20. Take a marble from the bag, record the color, return the marble, repeat a few times, okay. Uh, okay, I think this is not the proper experimental of the getting blue marble from the bag is six by 10. No, 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 I think they didn't take it properly. Okay, it's fine, right? You need to remember this is what we have, right? This is what we need to remember. Now find the probability of uh, probability of rolling an even number when you roll a die containing the number, right? Okay, uh, so one moment, okay, like coming back to previous question. If suppose we have the record, okay, we have the data like with us. When we picked out the uh, uh, like marbles, okay, we got, okay, we got some data. If we have like first attempt, we got this blue marble, we got blue marble like that. Okay, we have the data, then we will predict. I'll take the similar example, but okay, let's uh, go further to the next question. Okay, find the probability of rolling an even number, rolling an even number when you roll a die containing the numbers one to six, express the probability as a fraction decimal ratio and percent, right? Express the probability as a fraction, decimal ratio and percentage, right? So we want to find out the even number. So how many even numbers are there? E is what, okay, E is the probability. Okay, E is the event, right? So what it is two, four and six. Now what is sample space we have? One, two, three, four, five, and six, right? This is what we have. So probability of E will be what? N of E divided by N of S. That is the definition of probability, right? Number of events, number of elements in the event divided by number of elements in the sample space. So this is three divided by six, which is one by two. Now, if they want it as a fraction, we got it. Okay, decimal 0.5 ratio, obviously one by two right ratio then percentage okay so 50 percent because one by two in 200 it'll be what 50 percent right 50 percent probability right like this we will give the answer i hope you got it right this is what we do okay now definition of probability probability a branch of maths with that deals with the likelihood of the occurrence of uh, a given event right so it is just a simple definition favorable outcomes divided by total possible outcomes. This is what we need to remember, right? Okay, now there is a container full of colored bottles, red, blue, green, and oranges. Okay, some of the bottles are picked up out of and displaced, okay? Sumit did this thousand times and got, okay, this is what actually we have the uh, experimental probability we have here because it is what based on the previous data we are going to, going to talk about. So similar things should be there in the previous question also, but that was not given. So that's why we need to understand it this way. What is the probability that Sumit will pick up a green bottle? So <clears throat> now he picked up blue bottles, he picked up 300,000 times he did, and he found that he picked up green bottles. So 450 divided by 1000, right? That should be our answer. So 45 by 100, and this is what? Five nines of five twos, nine by 20, simple, right? Because green bottles came 450 times. So if he is picking the green bottle, right? That is like 450 compared to all other right here. Right, this is what it is total. 
Okay, now if there are hundred bottles in the container, how many of them are likely to be green? Right, if there are hundred bottles. Okay, so 45 are likely to be, okay. 45 because 4,000, if you compare, okay, like I think you can get it by comparison, right? If we have 450 times we are picking up uh, what green bottle, right? So what we have, okay, if 100 bottles are there, the ratio will reduce, okay. 30 will be blue, okay, 20 will be red and five will be oranges, right? Like that we will do. I hope you got it. Yes, this is what the answer we got. Now, what is outcome and sample space? Outcome is what simple point, okay, we call it all like one of the uh, element from that full sample space. Outcome is what? If I'm throwing a dice, so getting six, that is one of the outcome, right? Full sample space is what? Sample space is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is what our full sample space. Now, what is outcome? If I'm getting any number like two, that is what, one of the outcome. If I'm getting four, that is one of the outcome, right? Like that we have. This is what we have. These are the outcomes. So full set is what? Sample space. An event is a subset of sample space. Subset means one of the element, right? By the way, you're going to do next year a chapter, which is what sets. And that you are going to learn this all in detail. But as of now, you can have briefly, okay? This notation S is a sample set, okay? One in which we have all the possible outcomes. So outcome is what these all listed possibilities, right? Listed possibilities. So sample point, right? Two, three, like that. Full thing is what sample space and one of the outcome is what sample point. Right? So this is what it is. If I throw two dice, let's say sample space, for two dice. So what will be the sample space for two dice? One, 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 two, like that one, six, then two, one, two, two, and two, six. Then like this, we will have six, one, six, two, and six, six. Right, like this. So we, this is what full sample space we have. 36 outcomes will be there. N, N is what number of elements in the sample space. That will be 36, right? Here, here, what is it? N of S is what? Six. So construct a sample space for the, for the experiment that contains rolling of a single die. Fine. Okay, rolling of a sample space for this. I have already shown you. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Find the event that corresponds to the raises. An even number is ruled. Find the events that, okay. So event E will be having like two, even number is rolled two, four, six. And, and a number greater than two is ruled. Okay, so they are saying even number and greater than two. So we need to remove from here. We will have to remove here two because that is not greater than two. So let's remove this. So this is what our sample space, right? We can understand. Okay, I think they wanted separately. Okay, fine. You, you can do it like uh, two ways, okay. When they are saying, okay, two here and if, uh, this is what separately if together they want then we need to remove here only two e2 let's say even three now greater than three uh two so two three four five and six like this this is what another event we have right i hope you got it so what is an event in probability theory Probability theory, an event is an outcome or defined a collection of outcomes. Two events could be there, right? This is what it is. Event is any subset of a sample space, right? Yes, I hope you got it right. Any single outcome is what an event or it could be two or more outcomes also. Now, uh, what is it? Independent events and dependent events. Okay, this is I think you don't get much questions right now, but it is what important here. Independent events are what? When 
they do not depend on each other right the events are not bothering the occurrence of each other that is what independent events dependent events then when they are affecting each other right i hope you got it okay like like what i'm saying now here uh if example if i need to take from a deck of 52 cards from a deck of 52 cards i'm picking up a king and that is supposed to be a king a probability of picking up a king uh okay so that will be what probability of picking up a king is what 1 by 52 now in the second row i want to draw one more card and now first card i didn't replace i didn't replace here uh, that one right i have that card with me and i'm picking out another card right so this will be like 4 by sorry my bad okay 4 by 52 it will be picking up a card first card now second draw p of e2 second time also i want another king so that will be 3 by 50 not 52 because how many cards are left how many cards are left now 51 so we need to write here 51 so you can see it is affected right this is what when e1 happened that time we are doing now if i say i replace the card back i picked up a card and i want the probability for that to be king now i'm replacing that card back card is replaced replaced okay it is replaced back in the deck so now probability of e2 picking up another king will be what 4 by 52 itself it is same right it's not affected so that is what this second one is what independent case this is dependent If we don't uh, write here e2 by e1 okay that is also fine the, like the way they showed it right so that is also okay but we need to remember that it is depending on the previous case right this is what dependent and dependent case okay now in a game of snake and snakes and ladders okay a fair die is thrown event e1 represents all the events of getting a natural number less than four event e2 consists of all the numbers of getting an even number and e2 denotes all the events of getting an odd number list these sets uh, list these sets representation of the following okay now they're telling e1 or e2 or e3 right sets representation they want okay so even is what represents all the events of getting natural numbers natural numbers less than four so natural numbers less than four will be what now or you need to understand as union okay so if one of the set a natural number less than four will be what one two three now union uh, event e2 consists of all the events of getting an even number so two four six union or is what you need to consider as union right e3 denotes all the events of getting an odd number so one three and five so we need to take the union of all these so i think we are getting one one is there this or this or this so one two three four five and six we are getting full sample space so this is what our final thing here now they're telling e1 and e2 and e3 so that contains what intersection of all these okay this will contain intersection of all these sets so what is common in all three no one no one is not available here two is two available in all two is available here but it is not available in third one is three available in all no so nothing so five we'll say none all right you can say none nothing is there right five set okay i i i think uh, we should not try represent it this way it is like empty set you can leave it like this or five set nothing is common now they're telling e1 but not e3 e2 e1 but not e3 
okay by the way this representation is what uh One, two, three, two, four, six, one, three, five, like this. Okay, now what are the, they are saying? E1, which is what? One, two, three, but not E3. So intersection, not E3 means what? Okay, it is what? Uh, uh, not E3 is what? Like E1 intersection. E3 prime. E3 prime is what? Even numbers here. Two, four, six. Right. Apart from the full set, U minus A. E3 uh, dash is what? U minus E3. Means uh, apart from one, two, three, all other numbers. So which are what? We have even numbers only left out. So that's why. What is it here? Which is two only. Right. This is what we got. Right. I hope you're understanding. Right. You can see all these cases. Right. This is how we do it. Right, okay. We can do all these questions now for a for our practice. Okay, a bag contains 10 red marbles, eight blue marbles and two yellow. Find the theoretical probability of getting blue marbles. So eight by 20, which is what? Two by five. Construct a sample space of experiment consisting of tossing a single coin. So what it will be? Head and tail. Okay, draw a random card from a pack of uh, cards. What is the probability that card drawn is a face card? Face cards are how many? There are 12 face cards divided by 52, right? This is what you need to remember that 12 face cards are there. So three by 13, that should be our answer, right? Two by five H and T and three by 13, right? These are the answers we have you need to practice a little bit more to understand it clearly right okay thank you very much for joining this session okay let's continue to the next uh, session okay next class thank you bye bye